it's become clear that WordPress is banking on Gutenberg or the block editor in the long run and they want Gutenberg or the block editor as the primary way people actually build websites. And the more people I speak with, more I see the pattern being shifted. More and more people are now uh, changing the mentality of the default being, okay, I need to use a page builder to create a website and thinking like, okay, maybe I can use the block editor or Gutenberg to create a website. But beginners still have trouble finding good looking templates or maybe block patterns or references on how they can create beautiful looking pages or even complete websites right inside the blog editor. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you the best places you can find great looking Gutenberg templates or even template or say block patterns that you can start using on your website to maybe beautify your pages, add some functionality, add some vibe to your pages. Let's switch to my computer and we'll sh or I'll show you all the great places to find Gutenberg block templates. So on my computer, the first place I recommend that you look for great looking Gutenberg templates or block patterns is the Starter Templates plugin. Now, full disclaimer, we make the Starter Templates plugin. I'm from the Brainstorm Force team and we make Starter Templates and we also make the Astra theme, which works in conjunction with Starter Templates. Astra theme acts as the core or the base and you can add use Starter Templates to quickly create a beautiful looking website. Let me show you how it works and let me also tell you why I think this is the best place to find block patterns and also Gutenberg templates. So right now I've just uh, on my website right now and I've just installed the starter templates plugin. You can see it right here. You can go into the uh, plugins, add new section, install the plugins, pretty easy stuff. And once the plugin is installed, you'll see something like this. And all you have to do is see or click this see library section or link right here and it will open up the library of templates that are available to you with the block editor. Now, technically we do support all the different kinds of page builders. For example, if you click right here, you see Elementor and Beaver Builder, but right now I'm talking about Gutenberg or the block editor. So if I say click uh, block editor, you see all these beautiful templates. I'll just scroll uh, up and then scroll down slowly so you can see all the beautiful templates. All of these you can use on your website for free. Yep. No paying, no money, nothing. Anything you see right here, all these beautiful templates, you can start using on your website, no charge. For example, let's say I have, or I'm a chef, I'm gonna make a personal website. I can click this right here, and I do get the option of like previewing my logo, and I also have color options I can try out. For example, let's say if I had a logo, I can upload that. I can instantly preview how my website will look with my logo without even building my website. And then, on the next page, I can even try out different color schemes on my website. For example, let's say I am not the green guy. Let's say I'm a blue guy. So I'll click this and instantly my website is now blue. And I can do this to every template available. Can you imagine the possibilities of you doing everything with all these templates? And best of all, no charge at all. So this is why I think uh, the starter templates library is one of the best places you can find or use as a Gutenberg block template library. Of course, you can use all the beautiful features right here. You can favorite your best templates by clicking this heart icon. You can quickly filter through all these categories of websites so that you can find the best uh, category that you have. And I'm just scratching the surface on why I think this is the best option for you. For example, let's head back to the post or the admin area. And I'll just go uh, here and create a new post on my website. Let me show you what I mean by the additional features. So right now you see a button right here called Starter Templates. If I click this button, not only do you see, again, all these beautiful templates, but now you don't need to use the entire template uh, to create your full website. You can choose just choose one of the pages from the template on your site. For example, let's say I like this template, Outdoor Adventure, and in fact, it has five different templates in it. So if I click this, I see one, two, three, four, and five different templates. And let's say I have my entire website built. I'm just looking to build a beautiful contact page. So I'll click this and I can preview the page and how it's gonna look like. Let's say I like this. I can just import only the contact us page on my site. No need to download the entirety of, my, uh, of these templates. Again, beautiful and powerful stuff. And again, this is just one of the features. If you go to patterns instead of pages right here, you see, we have a library of built patterns that you can use. This is similar to the WordPress pattern library, which I'll talk about in a second. But see, beautiful looking templates, or I'd say part of a Gutenberg template that you can quickly install and use on your site. Again, if you look or scroll, these are all uh, created in a way so that they're universal colors. And once, if you have made some ch settings or changed the customized settings, most of these will take on the color combination from your customizer. So let's say if I want to use 
a secondary heading like this. Maybe let's say I want to I use this one or let's say I just want to add a testimonial block. I can quickly just click it and import it on my website. And again, it's completely free for you to use. Beautiful, right? And this is just, again, one more feature, there's more. If I go to the wireframe section, I'll get wireframe uh, uh, alternatives for all the block patterns. So no images, no headings, or I'd say no proper text, just lorem ipsum or filler text. And this is great for just creating structures of a page, right? Let's say you work with clients and you want to showcase, hey, uh, this is how your page is going to look like. And if you show them actual titles, even if they're dummy or images, they might get confused and they said, hey, I don't want this image on my site. So instead of actually using live images, you can just use maybe templates or wireframe blocks. And we have plenty of wireframe blocks that you can use on your site to create a beautiful looking website. So just recapping, with starter templates, you get entire templates. That means complete website building capabilities in a single plugin. And for block editor, it's completely free. I showed you all the beautiful templates. You have single pages, so you can use single page on your, on your site as well. You have patterns that you, you can use on your site. And you also get wireframe blocks on your site. And all of this, you did not pay a single cent. So that's why I think Star Templates is one of the best plugins you can use if you want to create pages or websites with Gutenberg or the block editor. Let's talk about the second option I'd recommend that you use to create pages inside the block editor. Now, this is not a complete template building or this is not a source that you can source complete templates from, but only template paths from. That can only short sections of a template, similar to the pattern blocks that I showed you. And it's actually built into WordPress directly. You don't need to add anything to web your website. And what you have to do is just click the plus icon, which you would to add any block to your page. And right now with the blocks you see right here, you might not have noticed this section right here, which is called patterns. So if you click this, WordPress will show you the default patterns that it actually has that you can use on your site. And again, this view is a little bit crowded. It's not easy to visualize how the uh, template or the template part will look like. But if you click this explore button, which is a more recent addition to WordPress, this opens up this beautiful view where you can see all the pattern blocks that you can start using on your site. Again, this is a limited library right now, but this is being upgraded and more and more contributors are adding uh, more patterns that you can use. And if you explore through all the different pattern blocks, you might find something that you like. And again, this is this will grow. Don't, don't think that, okay, this, these are just a few templates available. This will keep growing because this was recent addition to WordPress, I think a few months ago. So this will definitely have more options in the future. But you have some decent looking options right here. For example, let's say I want to use this uh, header block. So I'll just click it right here and this will be added to my site instantly. And again, this is a cow block. I can just modify this and it's, it looks beautiful on my, on my website, right? And if you want to check out the pattern library on WordPress directly, there's actually a dedicated page for it. It's called the WordPress pattern uh, library. And I'll just link or leave a link down in the description of this video for the actual library, or I'll show it up on the screen as well, where you can go and check out all the patterns that you can use on your site. And again, this is very similar. I'll say you'll see the same patterns inside your admin area and here as well. So for example, the, the usage of this pattern library, actually, we actually made a dedicated video about this. So I'll leave that in the description if you want to check it out. But the short version is just click the copy button, come back to your site, and then just maybe paste it. And now that specific template is now on your site. Very easy to use. Again, you cannot create complete pages, so it's not a complete collection of pages. You have to kind of piece your page together, but it works well nonetheless, right? It's pretty beautiful, and the pattern block library will continue to grow over time. So you have a lot of pages right here, so make sure to explore and check it out. So let's talk about the next template or next template collection website where you can source complete templates and also partial templates to create pages with the block editor. And it's called Gutenberg Hub, which you can see on the screen right here. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description, also share it on the screen right here. And this is a collection of, I'd say, full page templates and also partial or section templates, which you can see right here. And you can filter them by type. For some reason, I cannot, or I am not able to load some of these pages or sections right here. And some of them are not completely loading. I've tried refreshing, clearing the cache and all the good stuff. For some reason, it doesn't work. But from my experience, I've seen uh, that the templates are, I'd say, a decent collection. For example, if I scroll down, you see some of these templates right here, right here. They're well built, uh, and I'd say you can start using them. And if you open them up in a new tab, for example, let's say you like this page or this uh, pattern block, the terminology is a little bit confusing. The easy part is that you can just click the copy code button and go back to your site and paste it on your site. This is pretty easy, and this makes it like very easy to start using this stuff, right? Uh, you don't have to download a plugin uh, just for a, maybe a couple of templates that you want to use. 
this makes it easy for you to start using all these templates on your site. So that's why uh, I'd say it's a decent resource. And I, from what I've seen, they do add more and more templates or even partial templates to the site. So make sure to check them out as well. Talking about the next one or the next website where I'll go to check out some block patterns or uh, partial templates for good work, it's called Share a Block. Again, I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description uh, to this specific library as well. And I think uh, the selection of templates on this website is not really extensive right now. And I don't know how quickly they'll get updated, but I just was looking at resources and I found this was a unique resource. For example, uh, they have some sort of templates which I didn't find in other uh, resources. For example, plugin selection section is a unique one, a little cute, uh, 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 I'd say, hero image with a cat and all that good stuff. Now the downside or with using this uh, share block plugin is that you have to kind of download the entire template to maybe a website or you will get the template as an email and then you'll have to download it and use it on your site. It's a little bit complicated instead of just copy paste. For example, if I, let's say, I do want to use this plugin presentation section. So I'll click this download now and it'll give me a form that I have to fill in and then the copy of the download link will be sent via email so it's a little bit complicated, but again, if you are looking for a unique way to just copy or use some unique templates that you won't find elsewhere, you can use this. Again, the, the collection is not that extensive, just a couple of pages and a few different unique blocks. But I'd say I'd mention this because again, anything unique is worth mentioning. So this is what you can use on your website as well. The next Gutenberg template library I'd recommend you check out is called the Gutenberg template library by Extendify. And they also call themselves the Redux framework. I'm actually not sure what they want to call it because right here it says Redux, but they also mentioned Gutenberg template and then plug the website name or the company's name is a little bit different. Whatever the name be, uh, the functionality of this plugin is quite similar to why, how starter templates work. So you install the plugin. I'm not going to do the complete demo because it's very similar to how uh, starter templates work. And you get the similar interface, which you can see on the hero image right here. You install it and you get some sections and templates and template kits. The collection is pretty decent from what I've seen. They have a decent collection or decent number of templates as well. And you can start using it. Now, the best part about this is that this is actually a uh, theme agnostic. So you don't have to use a theme. Uh, technically, you don't have to use a theme or specifically a specific theme when using star templates. But if you do decide to, let's say, test out or use uh, the Redux framework or Gutenberg template library by Redux, then it's completely compatible with the Astra theme. And Astra theme, as I mentioned, is the most popular theme right now. It's used by millions of people around the world and recommended by almost every uh, decent website builder that you can think of. And it's completely compatible. The Redux framework is completely compatible with the Astra theme. So if you do decide to use the Astra theme, I'd say uh, try out star templates and try out Redux framework, both of them at the same time, try what works best for you, and then decide what you want to use. Again, I my vote a little bit biased would go to starter templates because it has not only a bigger collection of Gutenberg templates, but let's say you change uh, your mind while you're building a website and say, hey, I just want to use maybe a page builder. I, I want to use a page builder. Then you can quickly switch and just download one of uh, the templates that we offer for other page builders and use them in conjunction with Gutenberg. And of course, you have the wireframe blocks and the pattern block library built in as well. So that's up to you, but I'd say I am <laughs> my vote is a little biased. I go to a starter templates, but the Redux framework or the Gutenberg template library uh, by Extendify is also a good choice. Talking about the next two resources that you can use to find Gutenberg template libraries, I'll quickly mention two of them because they're very similar. So the first one is called gutentor.com. The spelling is G-U-T-E-N-T-O-R. Of course, a link will be in the description of this video. I'll put it up on the screen as well. So this is called a Gutenberg template drive, and they say 100 plus beautifully crafted WordPress landing page templates. Now, they do say 100 plus, but on the website, I found maybe just like eight or 10 different templates. Maybe they have sub pages as well. I'm not really sure, but just pointing it out there, they say 100 plus, I don't see 100 templates, but the templates that they do have, they're pretty well designed, I'd say. Credit where credit is due. For example, I was checking out this medical template and uh, it has a, this, it's a beautiful design template. It looks professional, it's not amateurish, and it's a good color scheme. And everything just looks nice on the page. So maybe uh, I'm missing something. Maybe they have a lot of different uh, sub pages to each of their templates. And you can start using them on your site. Uh, I saw this is a free download, so I believe you have to download the plugin or just download, uh, 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 yeah, you have to download the plugin on your site and install it. So uh, if you just want to use maybe just one of these templates, I'm not sure how it's gonna work if they bundle it or they uh, download it or from their web service. And again, 
little bit limited resource, but I can, I'd say if you have a specific use case which we cannot fulfill with star templates, then definitely you can look at uh, gutenter.com and find that template. And of course, leave us some feedback uh, in star templates as well, uh, mentioning that we, you would request or you would like a specific kind of template and we'll make that happen. And talking about similar terms, we have one more website which has a similar functionality to Gutentor, and it's called templateberg.com. Again, a link will be in the description of this video. And this website is a little bit different. From what I could figure out, this is more of a curation of different, uh, I'd say, templates, and also they sell or they have a lot of their own. Now, the, the downside here is that not all of them are free to use. For example, if I click the All button right here, you have three different sections. So you have template kits, you have templates, and also you have blocks. So template kits, I believe, is a complete theme, collection of templates. Templates is just one page, single page, and the blocks is maybe a section, partial section created. So most of the blocks are free, as you can see right here. Most blocks are actually free to use. But if you go into the template kits, uh, they cost a, a, a tiny bit, little bit of amount. So you have a, a $13, $13, not really expensive, but let's say if we are offering you maybe 100 templates for free, there's, there's little reason for you to pay for a specific template unless we don't have that or you cannot customize it. I'm not saying that's a bad product, but I'd say if you can get something for free, maybe you don't need to pay. But credit where credit is due, the templates do look uh, nice, they are pretty good, and they also have a lot of free templates. I'm not saying everything is paid, but if you wanna see the uh, free templates, that you just have to click the free option right here, and then you'll start seeing all the free templates that they offer. Now, again, if you want to use any of these templates, you have to actually kind of download the plugin. So you have to like click the get it free button and it'll take you to a different page and it'll tell you, okay, download or install the template work plugin and then you can start using it. And also you see a notification pop up here where the plugins actually download your site. So I would say, test it out if you like it, if there's a particular template you like. Honestly, I think the presentation of the website could be different if I want to test out, if I want to see the, how, how the template will look like in a more, I'd say, bigger uh, screen or a, with a bigger resolution. That's something that's not present on the website. And this, uh, I'd say, a, such a small screen size is a very hard to make a decision on what do I build on my website with this small interface. So if there was a way to like look at the templates, page is actually something we saw in Star Templates. For example, when we were inside Star Templates, we could actually go and check how the uh, template will look like, how the page will look like. There's a, there's a way I could actually check the pages and in a, in a much bigger resolution. Again, this is a much better, better interface in my opinion, but again, uh, they do have some sort of templates that are available that you can use for free and decent looking templates in my opinion. And that's it. Uh, that's These are the most, I'd say, popular, or I'd say unique uh, template libraries or Gutenberg templates where you can uh, find. And of course, this is not a complete extensive research. There might be a list, uh, some other websites out there as well, which do offer some decent templates. I was not able to just find them in my research. And if you know any of these kind of websites, just make sure to link them in the description. Just mention that in a comment. And of course, we'll just look at them and uh, make sure to mention those in a pinned comment if we find it worthy for your attention. And definitely, if you have any questions about style templates, all these plugins, make sure to leave that in the description as well. You're listening to Yuvraj from the Brainstorm Force team. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video really, really soon. Till then, take care, stay safe. Watch some of these videos. I'll link up on the screen right here and have fun.